A true friend stabs you in the front, Oscar Wilde supposedly quipped. If that's the case, President Obama has a couple of true friends in Professor Cornell West and talk show host Tavis Smiley, who are so frustrated with the man they helped elect that they've taken their critique on the road. Here's ABC's senior White House correspondent, Jake Tapper. We've always been and always will be a AAA country. In the wake of the last week's debt ceiling deal, subsequent credit downgrade, and plunging stock market, President Obama's opponents have called him weak, ineffective, irrelevant. And now two friends are adding their voices to the chorus. PBS and radio talk show host Tavis Smiley and Princeton University professor Dr. Cornell West, who did 65 campaign appearances for then-Senator Obama in 2008. Enough with the speeches about now it's time to focus on jobs and now it's time to focus on jobs and now we're going to focus on jobs. Today they do not sound so friendly. They say they have a message for the president from America's underclass. They want to know he's going to fight for them, and I think they're tired of seeing the Republicans clean his clock. Their poverty tour, as they're calling it, pulled into the president's backyard today with a stop at D.C.'s Central Kitchen. Here, formerly unemployed locals learn culinary and other skills and prepare food for schools and the homeless. The goal of the tour is to highlight rampant unemployment and income inequality, the regression of the middle class, and their view that the president is not doing enough. What is the White House view of this criticism from Smiley and West? This president is very focused on every American who is suffering uh, during uh, uh, these turbulent economic times. I know what this president is up against, number one. I'm clear about that. But I think too often he compromises, too often he's, he capitulates. I think the Republicans know that. I think they laugh when he's not around. He's got Martin Luther King Jr.'s bus in the Oval Office. Martin Luther King Jr. weeps when he sees poor and working people suffering and no fundamental focus. There are riots right now in, in the UK uh, that have a lot to do with disaffected youth. Is this something that you see could ever happen here? In a word, yes. Um, One percent of the people owning and controlling more wealth than 90% of Americans, that's unsustainable. That math won't hold up long term. There is a bubbling, there is a restlessness. If you don't treat poor and working people with dignity now, chickens are going to come home to roost later, and it won't be about love and justice. It'll be about revenge, hatred, and then we all go under. The harsh criticism of the president has made this tour controversial, particularly in the African-American and progressive communities, with detractors suggesting that Smiley and West have a personal beef with the president or are just being self-promotional. This is just burning me up. When my white progressive friends make the same progressive critique on this president that Dr. West makes or I make, it's courageous. They're holding the president accountable. But somehow when we do it, we get questions about whether or not we're Obama haters. They insist the focus is not on the president, but the poor. I can see your mind is sharp, your soul is intact. What is your story, my brother? Uh, me and my father, we got evicted back up in Maryland. Smiley and West hit the streets of Washington, D.C. last night. And we got evicted. And that's when it started to go down here. Yeah. <laughs> and it's been a struggle ever since. They say giving voice to Americans falling even further behind motivates them. But they know it's their focus on President Obama that brings them attention. They say they're simply trying to push their old friend, the president, to greatness. What is your plan, Mr. President? Where are you going to draw a line in the sand and let's fight? That's it. Let's fight. Got to fight. Got to fight. That's our legacy. The president's defenders say he has enough fights on his hands without having to fight with friends. This is Jake Tapper for Nightline in Washington.